that's our executive director. He's our face to you, the community, and to others. So we do appreciate that. Thank you, Al. We're privileged tonight to have with us the Building Together's national president and CEO, Charlie Schmansky. Introduced him a little bit earlier. Uh, to recognize your contributions. Charlie comes to us from an organization with strong experience and knowledge of nonprofits, fundraising, affiliate relationships, and disaster recovery. His impressive bio and background is lengthy, with lengthy experience from Red Cross at multiple levels. He understands the field and national aspects of volunteering. He's also authored several guidebooks for nonprofits to achieve excellence in individual giving. Clearly, Charlie comes to us and understands the importance of bringing volunteers and communities together to improve the homes and lives of low-income homeowners in need. Please join me in welcoming Charlie Schumansky. Thank you. Um, it's a real treat to be here. I've been on the job for all of five weeks. I've been to that point now where I'm almost start, starting to measure it in months. Um, but one of the real treats I've had in the five weeks uh, was just today. I had, a, had the great fortune of spending about four hours with the regional leadership from the three states in, in the Rebuilding Together Region 8, and that is uh, Indiana, Ohio, and Michigan. And we had a meeting today uh, down in, you know, over in Detroit. And, it was really great to get to see Al at work and get to look, get to know Gail and to see the great leadership that you all have here. You're in great hands. You're one of our stronger affiliates, and I'm, I'm sure you guys know that, with, especially with the growth that, that you, you and your leadership, Al, have brought. Um, it's, it's really wonderful to be here and to be able to celebrate the work of the volunteers. I started volunteering at the age of eight, uh, working uh, with United Cerebral Palsy, where my mother was the regional volunteer coordinator, a volunteer job itself. And as I think I was just telling Dave and Barb Adams that my father and, and mother taught their three sons about the value of volunteering. And I didn't quite realize until a little while that every weekend we were doing all this work and not getting paid for it. <laughs> and I used to get paid for chores, but for this work I wouldn't get paid. And, I asked my dad once, why aren't we getting paid? He said, someday you'll come to appreciate that you are. And someday that day will happen and you'll know how richly paid you are for volunteer work. Um, and I won't bore you with the day some years later when I realized how enormous that payment is. But I know you all understand that you, you all can appreciate it. So I thank you. I thank those of you that are putting this extraordinary night together. What greater privilege than to be the volunteer coordinating the event that celebrates the work of the volunteers. Um, you all have been around for 20 years. That's pretty awesome. Pat's here. I saw, uh, I saw him and said hello. And, oh, he's over here. Thank you. Uh, Pat's been around since the inception. Uh, what a great story he tells when he, when he mentioned to me just a little earlier that every day he drives past the first home that was the first project. Mm. What a vivid reminder it is for him. Uh, you know, a, a guy who has been with this organization and seen this growth and seen all the trials and tribulations for all those years. The national office has been around for 25 years. I hope during the dinner time and during the at the end of the evening to meet more of you and to tell you a little bit more about what we do. I don't want to bore you with that, but I'm not. I will bore you with numbers because I'm a real numbers geek. Um, Four numbers I want to tell you about, 187, 10,000, 100,000, and 100 million. 187 is the number of affiliates we have throughout the national network throughout the United States. 10,000 is the number of projects that we do in a given year. And you can see, you saw in the earlier slide, the impact that you all have in that 10,000 number. 100,000 is the number of volunteers we have nationally in this program and 100 million is the value of the services we provide. So when I'm in Washington, D.C., working closely with our federal government, other legislators, on the work that we do, and when we have Secretary Donovan of the Housing and Urban Development as a keynote speaker at our conference in about a month, he knows better than anybody the value of the work that you all do. So every time you're swinging a hammer or you're wielding a paint brush, you're doing critical work that is essential to our meeting the needs of people in need. The sad news 
the last numbers I'll leave you with are that in the last four years, the number of seniors that live below the poverty line has grown by 24% in four years. In that same time, the National Rebuilding Together Network, our number of projects has essentially been flat. Ladies and gentlemen, we got work to do. And we need to reach deeper into our communities and find more and more funders, and my job is to help us do that, who will support us building our capacity so we don't have 187 affiliates. We have 387 affiliates, and we're not providing $100 million in value. We're providing a half a billion dollars in value in communities because these people need them so much. Um, that's, that's our challenge at headquarters, is to provide more and more value to, to Al and to Gail and, and all of you so that you can redouble your efforts and we can do a lot more. Um, I, I want to finish by just mentioning something that, that David Barb Adams said when we were chatting just a few moments ago. And you all get this, but I just have to, have to say it. The real value in the work that we do and the payback that my father told me about was that moment when you get that hug from that homeowner, and I just had one in Des Moines a week ago with this extraordinary, extraordinary woman who, when I met her, I was in front of her house and the team was just descending on her house. And she gave me this bear hug, and I'm a hugger, I, and I, I cry at openings of grocery stores, so I mean, I'm a very emotional guy. And, and here we were in this, you know, bear lock of a hug, and she just wouldn't let go, and she wouldn't let go, and finally, I, I peeled her back so I could tell her, you know, this is such an extraordinary experience. You're the first homeowner I've really come to, to meet. And she said, rebuilding together is my resurrection. She said, my son died just a couple of years ago, and since then, nothing has gone my way. I've lost my job. I'm, I'm operating on a fixed income. I can't fix all the things in my home. And when the, when the card came under my mailbox that said the rebuilding together was looking for families that could use help, I knew that my resurrection had just arrived in my mailbox. That's the kind of people we're touching. You know that, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but isn't that just the coolest thing about the work that we do? And doesn't that make you just want to sign up for another 10 years? I know, I know it does. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I really liked your comments about how you got started serving others as a younger person. I think that's our legacy to our children and others as well. So, thank you for that message. Um, at this time, I'd like uh, Dave Adams, if you would, to lead us in a short prayer, and then we'll start with uh, dinner. The back three tables go to either food serving station. As soon as they're seated, the next three tables. We up front.